Throughout internet history, an abundance of creepypasta-esque beings have been created to entertain, frighten, and interest people all over the world. However, something new has been making its rounds on the internet lately. Something far more malevolent and sinister than the rest. Today, we are going to investigate the story behind the one and only. See if my death's faith on them. This narrative begins mid-January 2020, when freelance horror illustrator and comics maker Trevor Henderson posted a series of old photographs to his social media accounts. At first glance, nothing seems too out of the ordinary, but if you take a closer look, you will notice something very wrong about them. In the first photograph, we see a crowd of people surrounding a car wreck in what appears to be a pre-1950s setting. But if you look carefully through the back window of the vehicle, you will witness a distorted humanoid figure with an upside down face staring directly at the camera. In the second image, we are greeted with yet another automobile accident. This time, with the upside down figure glaring back at us from the inside of the vehicle. And in the third photo, it's difficult to pinpoint his exact location. But if you gaze closely behind the crowds of people, you will notice him once again, staring back at the camera from a distance. Upon my initial investigation of these photographs, I became instantly obsessed with the concept of this being. Behind his strange and deranged appearance held a mystery I was anxious to solve. So I quickly got to work. Fortunately, Trevor provided us with a few details that explained the entity's presence. In a few tweets, Henderson explained how sightings of this figure have been recorded between the 1910s to 1960s. He added how the man is typically found within the crowds after tragic events, such as car accidents or fires, possesses ill-natured attributes, and is never seen before a tragedy, only afterwards. Furthermore, no one has ever reported actually seeing him with their own eyes, no matter how close he stood next to them. His physical presence is only ever captured in photos. From here, a few ideas came into my mind. I first considered the location of his sightings. Upon analyzing the photos for clues, I noticed the name of a shop in the third photograph. The vocabulary looked familiar to me, so I sent the photo to a Hungarian friend of mine, asking if it was indeed the language. She said yes, and also added how Meredek typically means leftovers. But in this case, both of these words most likely just translate into flea market. With this information at hand, and the city-like atmosphere in the photograph, it's quite possible the Upside Down Man has origins based in or around Budapest. This finding then led me into my next theory, the possibility of the figure being the personification of death, also known as the Reaper in some parts of the world. With European origins dating back to the 14th century, the duty of a Reaper is to guide the recently deceased into their afterlife. This somewhat made sense in my mind, as the man with the upside down face would only ever appear after tragic accidents, almost like he was there to collect a fallen soul. But oh how I was so wrong, for his presence is actually much worse than I ever thought it to be. The 
The following day, Henderson provided us with three additional images, this time with approximate dates and locations of the photographs. However, he also admitted disturbing details about the Upside Down Man that prove his malicious nature. In a direct quote, we are told his face is on wrong because he loves perverting the expectations of how a human is put together. He loves grief and pain from roadside accidents, but any awful feelings will do. He's an awful parasite, like a leech or a lamprey. He's physically there, but we can't see him though. To add on to this description, he is also described as the patron saint of small tragedies and provides the worst possible pain in people, even worse than the infamous cartoon cat. At this point, I didn't know what to think. My expectations of this man were blown out the window from being something so small and menacing to something beyond comprehension. It even seemed impossible to form a theory, as the nature of it all seemed too perplexing. I could only ask myself one final question. Who is the man with the upside down face? In summary, this man is one of the most, if not the most threatening and malevolent entity out there. He feeds on the suffering of people during their worst tragedies sucking the life out of them when they don't even realize he is there. And the worst part of it all is his grim smile. When flipped upside down, his smile is turned into an unsettling frown, almost like he is mocking those in his presence. So the next time you witness a small tragedy, such as a car accident on the side of the road, or a crowd of people watching a building burn down. Just know that this man could be right behind you, watching and waiting for the same tragedy to happen to you. But what are your thoughts on the man with the upside down face? Do you believe he is truly worse than Cartoon Cat or something else completely different? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for supporting my content. We are getting close to 100,000 subscribers, and I plan on doing a Q&A and a face reveal once we hit that milestone. So please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Additionally, please consider supporting me by following any of my social media accounts, such as my Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. But as always, thank you, and good night.